Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to this introduction video to the all new Unity GUI system. So it's finally out, Unity 4.6 has been released as a public beta and is now available for download. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing, these tools have been expected for so so long, it's basically become the uh, developer's equivalent to Half-Life 3 at this point. Uh, so that's super awesome that we can finally get to play around with these tools. So to download this, please go to unity3d.com slash unity slash beta slash 4.6 and you can download it here. Please remember that this is a beta and there might be some bugs here and there. Cool, I've also gone ahead and went over to the uh, Brackies forum and created a GUI system uh, section under the answers section uh, where you can post uh, questions about the Unity GUI and there's plenty of people here ready to help you should you get stuck. So go to forum.brackies.com and visit the GUI section. Uh, you can also highlight uh, your stuff if you make something cool or just generally discuss the new GUI system. So today we are going to be creating a very simple menu like the one you see here. You can see that I have some buttons set up. Uh, they don't do anything when you press them. Uh, I just want to give you uh, an idea of how you work with the uh, GUI in Unity and uh, how some of the different elements can be put together. So we have a, a toggle and a slider, three buttons and a input field uh, where you can type stuff. Cool, so let's go ahead and dig right into today's subject and start creating the GUI of today. So let's delete the canvas and the event system here, which I've just created. And uh, let's start from fresh. So you can see that I have a basic scene set up here, just a main camera with a skybox, a sun with a particle system, and that's basically it. So not, not much to it there. Uh, so we can just go ahead and start building the UI now. So in the hierarchy, right click your mouse cursor and uh, go under UI and select button. And you can see that it automatically creates three things, actually four. It creates a canvas, uh, which is basically uh, the uh, screen, it emulates the screen uh, or our screen size. So it's basically just the restrictions of our GUI. Everything in our GUI needs to be inside of the canvas here. Then it creates a button, uh, which uh, also has a child, uh, which is the text of the button. And it also creates an event system that you should just leave as is. It's pretty important that you leave it here. So if we go ahead and double click on the canvas, we will uh, send, uh, zoom in on it. And then over here in the right hand corner, we can go ahead and select uh, to view it from the front here. So just make sure that you view it uh, directly from the front uh, or you could quickly get annoyed. You could go into 2D mode to make things even easier. Uh, I'm gonna do that because then we also have the grid. Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the button and make sure that we have the new uh, 2D control selected in the left hand corner or it's gonna be really annoying rotating and scaling this. Then we can just go ahead and uh, maybe size this up. Just drag the right hand corner, hold down Alt to scale on both axes and then Shift to scale uh, while preserving the aspect ratio. Just to make this a bit better, uh, a bit bigger. <laughs> then select the text here and we're gonna uh, maybe say play game. Uh, we're gonna bump up the font size a bit and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we need to do with the text. Then we can go back and select the button and uh, we can maybe color this. So let's make it a, a reddish color. Oops. Like this maybe. Bump up the alpha a bit. That doesn't look too bad. I just want it to look kind of action-like uh, if this was like a, a space shooter or something. And uh, also for the text, let's go ahead and make this white. And now we can just position this uh, a bit to the right here, uh, go into the game view and see how it actually looks. That wasn't too bad. 
Uh, you can always adjust the position uh, X and Y uh, from the game view here to uh, really adjust it the way you want it to. Something like there looks pretty great. And what you might notice is that the play game and the GUI element here looks just the tiniest bit blurred. And the reason why is we need to go into the canvas here and select what's just called pixel perfect. And this will move the elements just a bit to make them uh, actually, uh, well, pixel perfect. It will make them look a bit crisper and a bit sharper. So now it, it looks better and we can go ahead and create some uh, sub buttons here. So let's just call this one the play button. Let's select it and press control D. Let's then move this down and then scale it a bit to the left. Now we can duplicate this again and move it to the right. So now we have two of these sub buttons here, these smaller buttons. The first one we're gonna re uh, rename to load button, and then we're gonna do a save button also. Here, and uh, let's dig into these and uh, change the text. So this is going to be load. I'm going to do cover the letters. And then this save button here is of course going to say save. Then we can go ahead and select both of them and uh, change the color to something a bit more neutral. Like the gray here. So that looks pretty decent. Uh, now we can go ahead and Actually, let's just bring down the alpha on these just a bit to make them less puppy. Cool. And uh, then we can go ahead and create another UI element. So right click on the canvas, go under UI and select the, let's do the toggle here. So now we can move this over and uh, position it so that the uh, toggle itself here, the marker, uh, is just aligned with the buttons. And notice that uh, Unity now has some very fine snapping tools uh, with the GUI, which are very nice. Uh, so let's rename this to Music Toggle. Let's uh, drop down this menu, drop down the background and select the label here. And let's call this Music. And uh, let's go ahead and make this white. And um, let's also select the whole music toggle here and just uh, scale it a bit to the left because we are now going to add one more element, which is the slider. And we can just drag this over and just align it completely with the toggle. Uh, drag this over to uh, scale it to line up with the uh, buttons here. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. We can go ahead and see how that looks in game. That looks pretty nice. You can also scale this up should you want it to be a little wider. Uh, that might be good. Uh, maybe a bit less wide, something like there. It's pretty good. And uh, now we basically have a uh, three buttons, a music toggle and a volume slider. Um, and that was just in a couple of minutes. So you can see just how effective it is to set up uh, basic UIs using this uh, system. So now let's rename the slider to volume slider. And let's also make a final element which is going to be on the UI and it's the input field. So let's just drag this, whoops, drag this over, center it on our UI. There it's centered and then hold down shift to only uh, move it on one axis. And we can go ahead and change the background because I don't really like this one to just the ordinary background. Uh, then we can maybe change the color to match the color up here. And while we do that, I just want to show you something uh, cool with colors. If you go under the color on the play game button, you can see that we can add a preset. So just click here to add a new preset and now it's saved there. So when we head under the input field and select the color here, we can simply click there and it will now have the exact same color and alpha settings as the play game button. Now we can hit under this and uh, select the text. Let's make this white. You will notice that 
the active text color here is also white, so you will have to change them both. This is the default one, and this is the one whenever we are actually typing something. Then the selection color, let's go ahead and make that white also, because the blue one doesn't really fit with our color scheme. Now when we go ahead and hit play, we've actually constructed the full UI that I showed you in just a, a matter of, of minutes. I mean, it's it's that quick. So thanks for, uh, for uh, watching this tutorial. I hope that you want to see more on the Unity GUI and that you are as excited about this as I am. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.